Hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so very much for joining me here today. My name is Kelsey, and today we have a beautiful pick a card reading where we are looking at who or what our current animal spirit guide is and what information, messages, or lessons they are trying to show us, teach us, or have surface in our life and in our reality at the time that you find yourself at this video. So this is a timeless reading and these messages are meant for you whenever you find yourself here. Let's go ahead and jump right into our pile selection. So out in front of you, we have our three piles, our three cards, our three objects to choose from and I'm going to ask you guys to take a couple deep breaths, really ground yourself, connect to your intuition, connect to your guides and ask which one of these three piles or which um, ones of these three piles, if there's more than one calling to you, is holding the animal spirit guide that is here to deliver a message for you. And here we have pile number one, two and three. And I will have the timestamps to the beginning of each reading in the description box below, um, as well as a list of the cards that I'm using for anybody who may be interested in that. Uh, you can also find a link to my website for anybody who's interested in checking that out in the description box below. So with all of that being said, beautiful souls, go ahead and pause this video if you still need a moment to choose your pile or piles. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number one. Hello, my beautiful group number one. Those of you that chose pile number one here with the uh, turtle, this reading is for you. And we are looking at your animal spirit guide, what your animal spirit guide may be, and what messages, information, or kind of lessons that they are uh, working with you at the time that you're working with you on at the time that you find yourself with this video. Wow, that was tough for me to get out. But starting off here with the turtle, now this could very well be um, another kind of animal guide or even your animal totem for some of you guys um, that's coming forth here. But the energy I'm really picking up on here is almost this, this, this feeling of almost like petrified wood, which is interesting. It's almost like being stuck in time. So for group number one, I feel like your animal spirit guide is really reaching out to you at this time and overall working with you on this kind of sense of being very stuck or stagnant or even kind of petrified, frozen in time in some way, shape or form. There's almost an essence of soul retrieval here for some of you guys as well. Um, and some of you guys may even be finding yourself drawn very much to uh, shamanism. That's something that's coming in here as well because shamanism um, very much so is is very connected to and works with very deeply this idea of kind of, I don't even know, I'm not even sure how to articulate this, but there's this essence of time. And this essence of bringing all times together, bringing all parts of yourself together and um, kind of retrieving your soul or fragments of your soul that were left in certain areas of your life due to trauma or um, major kind of things that you went through, experiences that you had that kind of shattered you. Some of you guys, this could have to do with relationships and like certain heartbreaks and the way that you move through relationships now due to the fact that you were fragmented in the past relationships that you experienced or past traumas that you experienced in relationships. Interesting. But that's really the energy I'm getting from this turtle is almost this, this essence of petrification or being frozen in time or even I'm kind of seeing like... Um, the insect in the amber kind of just stuck there frozen preserved um interesting but let's go ahead here group number one and get into your reading here we're going to start off here with the animal that's coming forth for you and then we'll shuffle the rest of the cards out as we go so group number one we have for you the parrot spirit watch your words okay so group number one with the parrot spirit here, I feel like this is really bringing you into a time in your life where you're recognizing that 
your words create your reality. Um, and if you tell yourself that you're never going to make it, if you tell yourself that you're not good enough, if you tell yourself that, well, this is never going to happen or I'm never going to get out of this situation or I'm never going to get out of this position I'm in, then that's inevitably what's going to happen. There's something here about the way you speak about or to yourself that is negatively impacting your progress or movement forward in a certain area of your life, group number one. So for a lot of you guys, um, this is going to be in different areas of your life as this is a general reading. Um, there's also a message coming in here to be mindful of anybody who may be watching you or learning from you at this time. So some of you guys, if you're a mentor, if you're a teacher, if you have children, um, if you have a lot of people in your life that look up to you or look to you for advice, there's something here that your spirit animal really wants you to be aware of because there is... <sighs> There's potential to spread either healing, growth, positivity, um, or to spread what looks like that when in reality maybe you don't believe it. Um, and you know, this I'm being shown almost like this Fern Gully movie type energy where, you know, the the diseased trees, that, like that, that energy spreads. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may be kind of stuck in that in some way, shape or form. Interesting. I'm getting a lot of energy that's coming in here. But overall, I feel like the lesson that this animal spirit is working with you on is learning how to change that inner narrative that tells you who you are or what you're capable of or what you want. Um, so if you find yourself thinking about something in the past that you cannot change or, you know, that hurt you and it causes you to fall into heartbreak or it causes you to spiral into other kind of negative mindsets or negative actions, uh, there's a need to kind of work with that and work with catching yourself falling into that mindset. And this takes practice, you guys. This isn't something that you're going to just be able to to do immediately. I mean, maybe some of you, but for most people, this things like this really take practice to retrain your brain, not to continue to travel back to these experiences or to these things that impacted us so greatly. And when you catch yourself doing this, there's a need to replace that thought and kind of hold this internal vision or idea with something that you do actually want in your life or that you do actually want to move towards. Because I feel like group number one, a lot of you guys are stuck in this kind of weird in-between place of like moving on from the past, but not being able to really accomplish the goals that you have in, in the present moment. It it feels like you're in this weird kind of in-between energy right now where it's like, I know I don't want to go back to the way that things used to be, or I know that that isn't good for me, or I know that that isn't productive, or that isn't helping me, or that it's only going to cause me or other people harm or heartbreak, um, but I don't know how to move forward. And, and it creates that kind of tension where you're just kind of stuck or frozen in time. A lot of you guys may also resonate with like this kind of freezing energy during conflict, like instead of fight or flight, you may freeze all together. And then you may find yourself kind of going back to that time and space internally over and over and over again, trying to figure out like either why you do that or what you could have done differently. Or um, there's, there's a very strong energy here, group number one, of being fragmented. And I feel like the parrot spirit is coming forth here to really help you speak yourself into wholeness and into your future, into even into your present moment, instead of being like, well, because this thing happened in the past, because when we say those things, we're automatically traveling backwards or um, you know, I can't be productive or in a, I can't be in a healthy relationship because of this other person. When we si find ourselves constantly blaming our present behavior or ideas or personality or who we are on the past things that we experienced, that's a big 
big red flag that we're still stuck in those past experiences and that those past experiences need healing in order to move forward. So there's something here with the parrot spirit really wanting you to acknowledge like the words that you speak about yourself and about your past and, and really recognizing that that's how the parrot spirit is communicating to you what still needs to be healed at this point in time in order for you to be able to take a step forward in your life. I hope that makes sense, group number one. Let's pull another card here and see a little deeper into what the parrot spirit is coming forth for you for here. Loss. Yeah, there's definitely like this essence of heartbreak or losing somebody or grieving or depression or feeling like like you're at a loss like I feel like group number one a lot of you guys experienced a lot of traumatic losses in your past um, regardless of what they were it doesn't matter what matters is the way that they impacted you and it's like because of that experience or those experiences that you went through you're living your life currently as though you could never have the things that you want because every time you have something that you hold dear to you, it gets taken away. Um, so it's like, what's the point? And there's healing that needs to be done here because you deserve so much more. And it's almost like the self deprivation energy that's coming in here. Like you, you don't allow yourself to love or you don't allow yourself to get close to people. You don't allow yourself to be vulnerable or allow yourself to get excited or to want things because it's like, what's the point? Because inevitably I will lose these things and then I'll have to go through this pain all over again. Um, that right there, if you have that internal voice, or if you even some of you guys say those things out loud, that's pointing to something that needs to be healed, group number one. And that's really what this parrot spirit wants you to acknowledge or to recognize, you know, the things that you deprive yourself of because of something else that you went through is showing you exactly what still needs to be healed that you haven't been able to work through yet. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and pull some tarot group number one and see what else wants to come out with the parrot spirit here. So our first cup here is or our first cup. Our first card is the eight of cups. And yeah, this talks about uh, emotionally disconnecting. And I feel like group number one, a lot of you guys have emotionally disconnected from your life or from from a lot of things even or maybe you you emotionally disconnected a long time ago and now you just feel like you're incapable of love or incapable of that connection um, because of all of the pain or experiences that you went through group number one and so if that's the case for you again this parrot spirit is saying watch your words because your words are showing you where your emotional pain is even though you have it turned off or maybe you're numb or you can't feel it or you're avoiding it um, it's showing you where that pain is and where that wound is and where that healing needs to happen. Wow. So I feel like group number one, a lot of you guys are getting ready to go through a big transformation. And this transformation requires like self-adjustment, healing, and overcoming certain experiences so that you don't continue to deprive yourself from these blessings or manifestations that you're meant to receive. Um, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may even feel like you've missed out on a lot um, moving into this point in your life. And that's because you deprive yourself, subconsciously deprive yourself of the things that you actually desire out of the fear of losing them in the end anyways. Um, So have the eight of wands so we have a lot of eights here some of you guys may really resonate with scorpio energy or scorpio energy may be very significant for you or even eighth house energy where we have this idea of change of death of transformation or even loss for some of you guys maybe you experienced a death or a very difficult passing of somebody that was close to you and that caused you to shut down or retract or disconnect in some way shape or form as well but for all of my group number one this is about going through these 
these major changes in your life that allow you to move forward in a different way and to move forward in a way that creates instead of separates or destroys or deprives, okay? Um, with the Eight of Wands here, this talks about things picking up speed, things happening more rapidly. And I I feel like for group number one, a lot of you guys are going, to, and it's interesting we have the turtle here too, uh, with the kind of slowness and the, the stillness and the kind of feeling very stuck or petrified in place. I feel like really this parrot spirit is coming forth here trying to break you out of that to allow you to fly freely, to allow you to overcome or rise above a lot of trauma that you've experienced or heartbreak, especially like emotional healing, really trying to come in with this parrot spirit. Um, I do feel for group number one that it could be very significant for you to travel or to move or to find a way to move in a way that's even kind of just symbolic of the movement you would like in your life. Uh, this could be yoga, this could be swimming, this could be, um, you know, m moving to a new house or to a new town or to a new job or um, anything that creates movement in your life, I feel like is going to be super beneficial for you in learning how to process and move through this healing that needs to happen instead of staying stagnant. Um, we also have the Ace of Cups. Yes, I love this for you guys so much. This parrot spirit is coming forth here, really, really trying to help you heal your heart in order for you to be able to come into the manifestations and the love that you're meant to have in this lifetime instead of depriving yourself of those things so that you don't have to experience the loss. It's like, well, if I don't ever open up or connect or allow myself to be vulnerable or allow myself to love or allow myself to get excited, then I don't have to deal with the letdown or the disappointment or the heartbreak when it ends. And, um, it's really time to heal that that perspective group number one it really is it's time to heal that perspective and I love that for you so let's pull you one last card here group number one one last card any last guidance advice or actions you should be taking that the parrot spirit wants you to know at this time We look at this. We have the rainbow with blessings. A lot of you guys, your passed on loved ones are looking down on you and they're they're watching you and they're sending you messages and blessings. Um, but overall here, this really just verifies group number one that this parrot spirit is coming forth here to help you heal in a way that'll allow you to accept and open up to receive your blessings instead of deprive yourself from them, okay? Um, so absolutely beautiful things happening for you, even though I know group number one, this may feel very heavy and it may be very difficult. It is very difficult. Okay. And, and I, I see that and I see you and I want you to know that you're not alone. Um, you're really not, you're not alone. Uh, if there's somebody that you can talk to or even finding therapy, if that's something that, um, works for you or writing in a journal or whatever it is that allows you to kind of confront or face the emotional aspect of yourself that you've disconnected from, taking that step towards that's going to be super beneficial for you, as well as creating movement in your life in any way that you can, whether it be symbolically, physically, mentally, emotionally, however that comes in for you, allowing yourself to move, allowing yourself to exercise or, you know, to rearrange your routine or your habits or your job or the place that you live, however that comes through is going to be so very helpful for you in creating this change and this movement momentum in your life again. Uh, but this is what I'm seeing for my beautiful group number one. So if you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see and I would love to add them to my list. 
consider subscribing if you feel called to do so. I thank you all so very much and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello, my beautiful group number two. Those of you that chose pile number two here with the Basset cat, this reading is for you. And I do want to just say here, starting off, there is this essence of urgency that's coming in here. Almost like this, this anxiety, this stressing about not having enough time coming in here for group number two that feels very prominent there's also like a clenching in the jaws for some of you guys and if you catch yourself doing that try to you know take a couple deep breaths and really try to relax and you know try to change your perspective on time if that's something you're really struggling with like really working with your routine or you know making sure that you're leaving early enough or giving yourself enough time to you know take care of yourself rest properly eat properly i feel like things like this could be very beneficial for you there's also this essence here of feeling very anxious or stressed or feeling this sense of urgency or feeling like you're always running late um, but kind of portraying yourself or projecting yourself as though everything is fine um, so that's something that's coming through here as well, like the way you present yourself to other people doesn't match the way that you're feeling inside. Um, you know, playing it off as though everything is cool or that, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but inside there's like this stress and anxiety and tension that it feels like a lot of tension that comes from feeling like you're always running late or like you don't have enough time or like there's too much on your plate. Um, so some of you guys, there may be a need to kind of like delegate or to release some, some obligations that you've taken on or, you know, let go of control a little bit and allow others to help you is something that's coming in here for group number two. There's also this essence of kind of um, ancient times coming in. I feel like a lot of the souls who chose group number two really have like an old soul or an ancient soul. Um, or have, you know, experienced many lifetimes on earth specifically, um, which is quite fascinating. And it, it, it may feel like group number two, like you may really feel like a lot of people don't understand you or like people just don't understand, um, who you are, or like you may have a very difficult time connecting with people, on a very deep level because it's like you you can't find people that are as deep as you so it's like you just pretend like that part of you isn't there or doesn't exist because it almost feels like you don't know what to do with it because you you haven't found um that person or those people or that way to express that part of yourself uh in this world yet so for some of you guys group number two you may also have creative souls and you may find that in your life journey um, trying to find yourself trying to find your 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 spark or your sense of purpose or direction in this life that some sort of creative expression is going to be how you're meant to express that very deep ancient part of your soul interesting Let's go ahead and get into your reading here, group number two, and see exactly what animal spirit is currently with you at the time that you find yourself at this video and what messages this animal spirit has and, you know, what information is it bringing forth for you in your life at this time. So group number two, we have the armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Yes, I love that. So there is kind of this essence here, group number to a really needing, you guys may have been drawn to uh, pile number three as well, some of you, and if you were, um, this is just confirmation that there is a message there for you. If not, that's totally fine, just disregard that, but I just wanted to say pile number three, and this has uh, number three on it, um, but I, I feel like for group number two, a lot of you guys tend to some of you guys may resonate with people pleasing, but I feel like it's more than that. I feel like group number two, a lot of you guys feel like you have something to prove or like you have to do everything by yourself or like 
you know, maybe some of you guys, it's, well, nobody else is going to do it right or nobody else is going to, you know, put the time, attention, and love or effort into it that I would. So I just need to do it so that I know that it's done right or that I, so that I know that it's done um, or so that somebody else doesn't have to carry the weight of this responsibility or this obligation. I just feel like group number two, a lot of you guys take on way too much and it's really weighing you down and it's really creating a very burdensome, resentful type energy, I feel like, within you towards maybe other people or towards your life in general or towards certain responsibilities that you do have. Um, you may be harboring some anger or like really starting to recognize that you have a lot of anger towards certain things in your life because you are solely carrying the weight of everything or everyone around you by yourself. But I feel like for group number two, a lot of you guys could let go of a lot of this weight um, if you allowed yourself to. So there's definitely like some solar plexus energy coming through here for group number two, really needing to be healed or balanced. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there is this sense of really feeling like you have to prove yourself or really feeling like if, if I can't do this, then maybe it shatters your confidence or maybe it shatters your self-esteem or, you know, there's just something here where it's like your, your confidence, your self-esteem, your value, your pride, all of this is very kind of connected to whether or not you're able to maintain this weight or this responsibility that you've placed upon yourself. Um, so for some of you guys, there may be a need to recognize that like maybe all of these expectations and things that you're living in that you feel like you have to do for other people or because other people need these things, you've actually placed upon yourself. And so if, if somebody didn't ask you to do something and you take it upon yourself to do it and you add more to your plate, what are you doing it for? Um, there's a need to kind of explore that, to really dive deep into why you're truly do doing this. Are you trying to gain their acceptance? Are you trying to gain their love? Are you trying to prove something to them? Um, and, and do you find yourself getting angry or upset or feeling kind of resentful towards this person that you're doing these things for or these people? Because you have too much on your plate and you're doing these things for other people, there's a need to really find where that line is um, and, and really let go of a lot of the responsibilities and expectations that you've placed upon yourself or taken upon yourself, um, okay? So let's pull another card here and look a little deeper into why the armadillo spirit is coming forth for you. So there is kind of this essence of like, it's time to focus on you, group number two. It's time to focus on, on what you want and on your life and on getting your own kind of priorities set and straight and working on those instead of constantly feeling like you have to hold everybody else up, okay? We have Guardian. I love it. I do really feel like group number two, a lot of you guys have very wise kind of souls. Um, the owl may be very significant to you as well. It may be kind of a totem spirit for you, um, for some of you anyways. But I feel like what this is saying here is that this armadillo spirit is coming forth here trying to get you to acknowledge that it's time to be your own guardian. Um, that all of the energy, time, and effort that you're putting into everybody else or everything else to try to make sure that, you know, nobody else is stressed out or nobody else has any heaviness or any, you know, major responsibilities that they have to deal with. It's almost as though you don't want anybody else to have to experience the work that it takes to accomplish certain things. Um, and it's not because you want all of the, the pride and glory for yourself, but it's because, like, there's a part of you that genuinely feels like other people, like, it's, it's almost like this, this kind of subconscious energy of, like, I can deal with this better than other people, not in, like, a cocky way, but in a way where it's, like, I'm used to this burden, I'm used to this heaviness, I'm used to this urgency, I'm used to this stress, 
um, and I wouldn't wish this on anybody else. So let me just carry everybody else's baggage and everybody else's responsibilities so that they don't have so much weight to carry. And it's like you're trying to be this guardian for everybody around you and for everything around you. And the armadillo spirit is coming forth here saying it's time to be your own guardian. It's time to turn inward and be the guardian of your own soul, of your own heart, of your own essence here, okay? So I feel like this is very related to kind of a soul's mission or a soul's purpose in this lifetime for group number two. This is about learning how to make yourself a priority. Um, a lot of you guys may connect with people pleasing. You may connect with feeling like everybody's watching you. You may connect with feeling like you were a parent too soon or like you had to take care of your siblings or like you were always the responsible one. And what I see now, group number two, is that the armadillo spirits coming forth here saying it's time to let go of that responsibility or that need to be the guardian or the parent or the responsible one for other people. And yes, it's it's time to be that for yourself, but it's also time to really, I feel like more so just let go of that and to allow yourself to be free, allow yourself to play and allow yourself to get curious with this cat here. I'm really feeling like this need for curiosity, this need to explore, this need to just go you know, anywhere on a whim to be spontaneous and allow yourself to see new things and to experience new things instead of constantly watching the same things over and over and over again, making sure that they're going to be okay. I hope that makes sense for you. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot group number two and see what else the armadillo spirit wants you to know at this time. There is a need for play. There's a need for play right now, a need for um, spontaneous kind of on a whim doing things. Interesting. <laughs> we have the Six of Swords coming out here. Yeah, it's time to move on from from the place that you're at. So some of you guys may be coming into this wondering if you're in the right place or if you're doing the right thing or if you should stay or if you should leave. And if that's you, group number two, if that resonates with you, the answer is to leave. The answer is to move on. Um, and the armadillo spirit wants you to know that. And and with the self he set healthy boundaries energy, if you've tried to move on from something over and over again and continued to come back, the reason why you continue to come back has everything to do with your boundaries. Okay, so that is definitely a, a, an area of focus that the armadillo spirit wants you to um, kind of work on is your your boundaries as well as your solar plexus energy in general. A lot of you guys may be feeling very depleted. You may be feeling very low energy. And that can also have to do with an imbalanced solar plexus chakra. Um, interesting. And also can have to do with you know, giving too much of your time and energy to other people or to other things, group number two. So let's pull a couple more cards here. Nine of Cups. Yeah, see, it's time to be happy with yourself. It's time to be independent. It's time to be kind of fulfilled independently. So there's definitely a message here for group number two that it's time to let go of any codependence um, that you may be struggling with or even for, I feel like for the majority of you, this has more to do with other people being codependent on you um, and you allowing it um, because it's been this way for so long or because, you know, you'd rather make sure that this person had everything they needed than to tell them no. There's a need to get comfortable with the word no, group number two. That's just all there is to it here. That's really a big message for you guys is learning how to say no, learning how to set boundaries, learning how to have this kind of sense of self-preservation and not taking on the responsibility of every single soul that you come into contact with and making sure that they're okay. Um, a lot of you guys may be healers, or you may resonate with that energy. Um, and with that, there comes this need to really have this line um, and to really, you know, not give 
everything that you have in order to make sure other people are, are okay. Um, because then you're left being the one that's not okay. And I feel like that's something that you guys have been through. That's something that maybe some of you are currently going through at this time. And it's time to make sure that you are okay. It's time to make sure that you have everything that you need. It's time to make sure that you can move towards your goals, your dreams, your wishes, instead of depleting all of that in order for other people to be able to do so. There's something here, group number two, where you've been in a situation that feels very codependent, dependent on the situation and whatever that's going to come through a little bit differently for everybody but it felt like it was very codependent and it feels like the armadillo spirit is saying it's time to say no it's time to move on and it's time to fulfill yourself it's time to look after yourself it's time for independence and it's time for you know um chasing your own desires and fulfilling your own wishes okay when was the last time you put time and energy into making your wishes come true instead of somebody else's we also have here the hermit see it's time it's time to go inside the shell it's time to find yourself again i feel like group number two a lot of you guys may feel like you've lost yourself or you may feel like you don't even know who you are or what you want in this life and the armadillo spirit is coming forth here saying it's time to draw that line in the sand and it's time to not let anybody else in it's time to move away from any toxicity or any codependence or any kind of situations that deplete you and it's time to focus on yourself okay group number two that is like the biggest message ever right now like it's time to move away from anything that causes you to feel responsible for other people or other things before yourself it's time to make yourself your number one priority group number two so let's pull you one final card here, one final message from the Armadillo Spirit. Any last guidance or advice or actions you should be taking at this time for group number two, please. We have the tsunami wake up call. Yeah, see, and things may feel very chaotic in your life right now where you may feel like you have no idea what's going on. Or, you know, you have no idea where to go from here. It's time, this this armadillo spirit is coming forth here with your wake-up call. And it's almost saying, like, if you don't take the action or make the choice to move on and begin prioritizing yourself, there is going to be, like, something that makes that happen within your reality. Um, so, you know, this this is your wake-up call, group number two. It's time to make yourself your number one priority. It's time to focus on you and to stop giving everything you have away to other people. Um, regardless, you know, I feel like it's always been in good intent, group number two, and I don't want to take away from that at all. I feel like you guys have a very beautiful soul. But it's time to give yourself some of that ener some of that energy, okay? It's time to chase your own dreams and fulfill your own wishes, group number two. But this is what I'm seeing from my beautiful souls that chose this pile. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated with you, if it brought you value, please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this. Let me know what other readings you guys would like to see. Consider subscribing if you feel called to do so. I thank you guys so, so very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number three. Those of you that chose pile number three with the little baby tiger's eye bear here, this reading is for you. And we are looking at your animal spirit guide that's currently with you, uh, why they're currently with you at the time that you find yourself with this video, what they want to say, uh, what lessons they may be bringing forth or bringing to the surface within your reality. So starting off with this bear, group number three, something that's really, really coming through here is this, this inner child energy. It's very, very strong in this pile um, that there is a need to either heal or connect to or allow your inner child to be present in your life there is a huge huge message coming through here of like needing to not take life or needing to not take some things so seriously okay so group number three some of you guys may be my very serious souls you may take life very seriously and if that's the case for you then you know that's just confirmation that you chose the right pile because if you take life so seriously from from 
get go and you live that way until the end of your life, then what is the point? Um, I'm, and I'm not saying like that it's necessarily a bad thing, but um, there is kind of this message of like moderation for everything. There, there needs to be moderation. Um, when we take things to the extreme, regardless of what it is, is when we create that imbalance or when we create um, disharmony within our reality. And I feel like that's something that's really wanting to be addressed for my group number three is, is there's a need for retrieving, embracing, allowing the inner child to be present in your life. There's a need for play. There is a need for fun. There is a need to find joy. There is a need to explore and to look at the world through more kind of curious eyes and to see wonder and magic in life instead of being so strict. A lot of you guys may be very kind of Saturn driven, Saturn oriented, or have a lot of Capricorn or even earth sign energies within your chart. Um, but specifically more so Capricorn energy, um, or Virgo energy being very, very prominent here, very strict, very logical, very routine, structured type energy coming through here. So there's a need to kind of deconstruct some structure, I feel, in your life, group number three. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see what animal is coming forth for you um, and what messages or what lessons they want to bring forth for you. Why are they currently with you, group number three? We have the fox spirit. Think on your feet. I love this so much. There is a huge need for kind of like this energy of diving in headfirst and figuring it out on the way down. Allowing yourself to take risks, to take chances, to do things in a way that you wouldn't normally do them, to do things spontaneously or impulsively. Allowing your instincts and your intuition to lead you in life is really something that is very, very strong here for group number three, really needing to be allowed to do things outside of this very structured, planned kind of energy. I feel like group number three, some of you guys may be the kind of people who go on vacation and plan out every hour of what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and where you need to be and you have all of that like set up before you ever even, you know, bought the tickets to go to this place and there is a need to release that rigidity. There's a need to allow impulsiveness and instinct in your life to follow your instinct. I feel like group number three, a lot of you guys really suppress or kind of shove down your instincts and your desires and, you know, your excitement and your joy for certain things. And, and in order to deal with some of you guys may really struggle with anxiety or stress or even social anxiety or um, you know, I, however that comes through for you, but it's like in order to deal with this, this tension or this, this energy that you, you feel like putting structure to it and organizing it is, is what helps you cope. And I feel like that's actually just keeping it there. And it's like the more you can allow yourself to be free, the more you're going to realize that that structure actually just kept that rigidity there. I hope that makes sense. Um, so there's definitely like a need to come out of that logical mind. I feel like you guys have spent a very large portion of your life in that kind of logical or masculine energy. And it's, it's not even to say that like, you know, your, your masculine energy is toxic or anything like that, group number three. It's just saying that there is a need for balance between all parts of yourself. And there's a need to allow all parts of yourself to be present and to be a part of who you are instead of trying to cover those parts up by telling yourself that they're not needed or that, you know, your emotions are useless or they have no value or that, you know, fun and excitement is for kids. Um, because it isn't group number three. Um, it isn't. That's that's what living in this life in this reality is all about is learning how to be whole. And I feel like that's a big message coming through for you is learning how to be whole and to allow all parts of yourself to be present and a part of your life instead of only one part that seems more productive or that seems more responsible. 
let's pull another card here and go a little deeper into why the fox spirit is present for group number three. Heard. I feel like you guys may have experienced a childhood where you were told, you know, that crying was for babies or that your it, it, there's just something here where it's like your emotions were invalidated or like your desires your excitement was always shot down and it's like it created this subconscious patterning within you that those things made you feel bad you know that those things weren't necessary in your life or for some of you guys maybe you're still trying to prove to your parents or to your guardians or to a specific person that you can be the person that they thought you should be um I just really feel kind of this wounded inner child energy where it's like you were meant to be seen and not heard or that you were constantly told to go play or that you were constantly told that, you know, being the child that you were was somehow a negative thing. And I feel like you guys still carry that with you. And the Fox Spirit is coming forth here to help you heal that. And that's, that's wonderful. And I love that for you guys. Um, but it really just feels like your inner child needs like a big hug, group number three. And allow yourself to do that. You know, hug that part of yourself, hug that past child self of yours that got shot down, that got told to go away, that got told to sit down and shut up, that got told that your emotions were invalid or that there was no reason to cry or that you know, your problems weren't as important or they weren't actual problems. Um, you know, there's a need to really embrace that part of yourself, group number three. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot and go a little deeper into this message for you and see what else the fox spirit wants to say, wants you to know. We have the sun and look at the child. There is a need for happiness. There is a need for joy. There is a need for reigniting that that spark of life within you. Um, instead of just, you know, getting up and going to work and coming home and getting up and doing it all over again, there is a need for, for joy in your life. There is a need for that. There is a need for healing. Um, and the sun brings forth healing, and vitality, in the inner child, and allowing your inner child to be your light, to be your guiding light, to be seen, I feel like is super important for you, group number three. You're being told to find your happiness. Don't just live your life based off of who you were told you were supposed to be or how you were told you were supposed to live or how you were taught, you know, adults are supposed to be. We also have justice. Wow. Libra energy, Leo energy. Um, this is about that balance, that moderation, that, you know, not going to one extreme or the other and finding that, that balance and that harmony within yourself again, within all parts of yourself. Um, there's also something here for some of you guys where there is karmic energy coming back, like positive karmic energy coming to you. But I also feel like for some of you guys, you may be seeing a lot of the people around you from your past kind of going through a lot of karmic lessons right now. And if that's the case for you, just know it's not your responsibility to fix them. It's not your responsibility to fix their life or to try to make them see things in a different way because you can't unless they're willing and open to change. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, it's time to be on the receiving end of like this, this good karmic energy. Some of you guys may be going through court cases or things like that as well right now. Um, and I do see, whatever this is, I see victory here with the sun and with justice. I see you guys overcoming your past. I see you guys coming out um, victorious through court cases or through any sort of conflict or, um, you know, even justice being served to those around you in, in ways that maybe we can't explain. Um, 
you you don't have to be karma that's something that's coming through here as well like don't try to be karma um that's not your job but it is going to be served uh, interesting it's like the more you focus on healing yourself and finding your happiness oh you know what for some of you guys your happiness is the karmic kind of balance for other people um, and that may sound kind of cliche that, you know, like happiness, your happiness is the best revenge, but that's really what I'm seeing here. Allowing yourself to be happy, healing and, and doing the work that you need to overcome the things that you've experienced, especially your inner child is going to be kind of justice. And it is going to be kind of that, that karmic return for other people to see you and to see what you've, what you've become. Interesting. And then we also have the hanged man coming out here. Yeah, I do feel for a lot of you guys that the fox spirit here is coming forth saying like it's time to turn things upside down. It's time to turn things on their head. It's time to, you know, throw the schedule out the window. It's time to see life from a different perspective. And the perspective you're being asked to see life through is the perspective of your inner child here. It's time to, you know, turn things upside down, to really shake things up within your life and let go of this rigidity. It seems super, super important to your happiness and to your healing and to your your vitality and to your success in life there is a need your inner child is needed for your success group number three um, and and there's no doubt in my mind here that it has been wounded you have experienced a childhood or you know a part of your life that really beat down your inner child and taught you to shove that part of you down deep and don't let it out and that it wasn't important or that it wasn't valid and, and I'm here to tell you that that part of you is so important and it is valid and the emotions you had were valid and the problems you had as a child, regardless of how minuscule they may have seemed to an adult or to somebody who's experienced far more life than you had at that time, those problems that you had were valid and they were real. And you deserve so much more and, and you're meant for so much more. Your soul, this is going to really heal you on like a soul level group number three. I really, really feel that, that you are going through like a soul healing process and you're going through like a glow up right now. And, and in order to accomplish this victory and the success and to be able to move forward, you really have to turn your entire world upside down. Um interesting so let's go ahead here group number three and pull you one final message any last guidance advice or actions the fox spirit wants you to take and wants to give you at this time for group number three please we have ocean ebb and flow there's a huge need for balance and there's a huge need for allowing yourself to find that balance instead of interesting the bottom of the deck here we have karma again that is something that's coming through here very strongly there is like a karmic balance a karmic healing um karmic clearing happening here for group number three and with this ebb and flow this is like really needing to learn how to acknowledge the parts of yourself that come in and and come out like there there's a need to allow change and movement and you know allowing yourself to I don't even know how to say this but it's like you know your your inner child comes into your life and then moves back out and comes into your life and moves back out kind of like the tide does and there's a need to allow that instead of just shutting the door and not allowing anything or anyone or any part of you to come in um allowing yourself to move freely with the changes in your life and with the changes of the seasons and and knowing that that is balance. Um, balance doesn't mean being so strict and having those scales be perfectly level all the time. There's because that becomes an extreme in itself, right? So there's a need to allow 
for movement and for change and and flow within your life okay group number three but this is what i'm seeing for my beautiful souls that chose this pile if you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you if it brought you value please hit that like button as it truly does help to support the channel i thank you guys so very much from the bottom of my heart uh, for joining me here today consider subscribing if you feel called to do so uh, and i will see you guys in the next one bye